Hi everyone and welcome to Style American. It is a pleasure to have with us here today the director of Rumble, the Indians who rock the world, is Mr. Alfonso Majorana. Hi Alfonso, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Nice to be here. <laughs> as well. And first of all, I want to thank you for the wonderful movie that you have made because it, you know, it's really, really an inspiring movie. And uh, I would say, you know, it's a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, very kind, yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, first thing that I would like to ask you is uh, what inspired you to make this movie? Well, uh, the, the inspiration comes from our two executive producers, actually. Uh, Stevie Salas, who's uh, Apache, and um, Tim Johnson, who's um, Six Nations from uh, uh, Canada. And basically they had a... Um, an exhibit at the Smithsonian uh, Museum in, in Washington uh, about the, the influence of American, of Native American music on uh, in, in pop culture and in, in all of sort of the history of, of the United States. And um, they um, they met my co-director and co-producer Catherine Bainbridge and our other producer Christina Fawn in in uh, in Canada and uh, at Hot Docs, I believe it was in Toronto during a festival several years ago and basically expressing an interest in, in maybe documenting this this subject you know and uh, so it, uh, luckily you know they they had this idea and then we Catherine myself and and all of the the people involved the researchers and, and the producers of resolution pictures we we started putting together this um, this film which um, you know we all uh, are very proud of and, and hopefully uh, people can, can get some knowledge from it. Actually, talking about the research process, uh, you know, tell me a bit of, uh, about this. So, uh, what actually uh, you had uh, you know, to, to research or you know, which kind of um, information or, uh, I don't know, maybe libraries or like, you know... Yeah, we had, we had, we had lots of researchers that helped uh, us throughout the film, including ourselves, you know, I mean, you know, Catherine and I would meet uh, and, and uh, even shared, uh, you know, information with Tim Johnson and Stevie Salas. I mean, it was a group, a group effort because there was so much uh, information that we needed, archival footage, we needed to, to interview experts to get a, you know, to build a base mm -hmm. of the story. And, and then we had to support that base with, with uh, you know, iconic uh, musicians, famous musicians, uh, and, and, and people that knew about the subject matter, that loved the subject matter, that were enthusiastic about the idea of, of uh, this film, uh, you know, basically uh, honoring and celebrating uh, the Native American influence on music. So um, it took us a while because, um, you know, we didn't want to be, to be wrong, you know. We, <laughs> we wanted to make sure that uh, things made sense and, uh, in, in, a, in a very historical way as well and, uh, and so we built a kind of a structure of the film from, from all the music that we thought needed to be you know put forth and music that we all know you know we all woke up you know in the, in the mornings going to school and listening to you know some, some music that we that are you know the music that, that you hear in the film but we wanted, we wanted to tell people where that actually comes from, mm -hmm. or at least, you know, culturally speaking, where does it come from? And, and uh, I think that was our kind of our goal, yeah, yeah. the journey of the whole film. As I was saying to you before, actually off camera, you know, uh, you did this so well because it, it really feels like the movie has the structure of uh, an essay. So, like, you know, the fact that you actually brought, you know, the witnesses of, of the story, I, I think you know it's really, really fundamental for, from this point of view. So you really did a good job. Oh, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we, you know, we had uh, some great editing. We had some uh, great researchers, and you know, and uh, and, and Catherine, who's a who's a real good journalist as well. She was a journalist before and a great documentary producer and and, and uh, director as well. So, you know, I think we, you know, when we first sat down, we we needed to build a structure that also, um, uh, I guess, enhanced the story. So we needed the right elements to speak about. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. First, you know, the song that everyone can, um, can connect with, that we all know. And then where does it come from? What, 
what part of the U.S. does it come from? And in, and in that particular part, what, it, what, it, what is the landscape? What is the, the, the you know, the, nat the, the nature of that, mm -hmm. of that music? Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, basically the land, you know? And, and so I think by doing that, then we're doing many things at the same time. You know, we're, we're giving them music, we're giving them, you know, a history of the land, the history of the people, and the politics behind all that as well. Of course, so yeah. So there's, you know, many levels to it. And of course, you also have to make it entertaining because, you know, we didn't want people to disconnect about, uh, about uh, maybe a story that they've already heard. We, th you know, we were hoping that it was a story that people would be surprised about and, uh, and that way, you know, the, the journey is, uh, continues, you know, you, you, you speak about one time and one, one era and then you go on to a next and there's another surprise. And, mm -hmm. But the underlining um, you know, truth of it is that you know, Native Americans influenced music. And of course, we're not saying that African Americans or Europeans didn't influence music, American music or American pop culture. But there was definitely a mix. But they, they were basically you know, an important thread and they, were, and they were there first. So we just want to you know, give them their right. And, and the voice, the, the voice of, you know, of, of, of music in general. So I think hopefully, you know, hopefully we succeeded. <laughs> you did, <definitely. laughs> the thing that um, I was actually, you know, very, very impressed is that you feel that, um, you know, you splash like into this story, really. And I was so surprised to see that, you know, like, I, I don't want to spoil it. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Because anyway. you have to come and watch the Yeah, film. sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to tell too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, the fact that, like, you know, blues right. actually, you know, comes from the, the Native American yeah. uh, rhythm yeah. and, you know, a pattern like he used to like play his guitar and like, like a drum, uh, yeah, like a drum yes. and, you know, that's something so or, original. Right. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, jazz as well. So like all the music and rock, of course, like all, all the music that is actually like, you know, say the modern music right. yeah, comes from there, you yes. know, so it's, it's really, really amazing. Yes, I mean, you know, the, the, the whole um, history that we sort of uncovered in, in Mississippi and that whole Delta region is, a, is almost basically the history of immigration, you know, and, and, but also the story of slavery, enslavement. And of course, people are always uh, thinking that it's, uh, you know, uh, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to give away too much no, no. About, the, about the movie, but... I think people have to be aware that, you know, the first people that were enslaved were Native Americans. Mm -hmm. And from that, what are the consequences that we, uh, we uncovered during the film mm -hmm. through music? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that's, that was one of the beauties of it, because as, you, as you'll see, you know, uh, when, when, they get, they, when they get enslaved and then there's a trade between African American slaves, and, and that, that, that's where the, the birth of all this music starts. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you'll see uh, the Neville, brother, Neville brothers, um, Cyril Neville uh, speaks about it uh, uh, very candidly. And uh, I think that's what, what makes the whole journey exciting because you, when you put all that historical, all those historical elements together and then you learn about what happened during that time at Wounded Knee, for instance, and the music, the, the banning of instruments and, and all that. And, but then, the, you know, the people coming together. And it was also, of course, on those plantations, there wasn't only, you know, African Americans, because, you know, through our research, there was over 33, 35% mm -hmm. were Native Americans. Mm -hmm. And then there was even Italians that were on, on the plantations, Mexicans, Lebanese. So there's a, a, a mix there that's happening. Mm -hmm. It's like being a Napoli. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like very creative very, environment. Very creative yes. environment yeah. with different a, identities. Yes. And, and, and so there's an exchange going on. Beautiful. And and that's what's beautiful because the beat, everyone has some sort of beat, you know. And mm -hmm. the native beat is is distinct. The African beat is distinct. The European distinct. And that European meaning what? Meaning 
Celtic, mm -hmm. meaning you know uh, something more uh, you know like Italian, which is different. Yeah. Uh, Arab, Lebanese, you know, yeah. it's, it, all of this com comes together and it gives you something new. Something new, yeah. And, yeah. And, it, and it becomes maybe popular music, which later becomes maybe blues, mm -hmm. jazz. Exactly. And, and then all of a sudden, you're you're into Link Ray with the guitar. Yeah, there so you go. It, yeah. It's all, you know, oh my God. So it's it's exciting, you know, and covering that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Talking actually about the title, uh, yes. Rumble. Like, why did you uh, decide to, to give this title? And uh, uh, because, you know, I understood, of course, that um, Rumble is really say, a turning point, like in, yeah. in music in history. In music history. Yeah, so yeah. That, is that like it's the, the exact, reason? Yeah. It's the exact reason, you know, just the fact that that song was an instrumental, uh, and which means a lot, you know, because. Uh, native music, you know, was was not being heard or, or, or whatever, you know, people were singing about. Uh, so we thought that Rumble was the was the key moment in, in, in American music that that kind of exploded everything. Mm -hmm. And then it was great to say what 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 be, what became of music after Rumble, and what was there before Rumble. And we thought that you know. I mean, you can't get a better, no, a better yeah. title for, yeah, for something that, you know, explodes and, and, and makes you uh, think, you know. And I think, uh, as I said, it was banned for, for a year. And uh, we thought that it would be ideal to honor uh, the film with that title. Mm -hmm. So... I really loved uh, very much also, you know, the, the part where you actually go like in Mississippi and like, you know, going, uh, say, deep I I into the roots, into the sounds of nature with, you know, the Native American artists that you were interviewing over there. Um, and like, you know, hearing this kind of, say, ancestral sounds uh, that, that, you know, are uh, really bring us, uh, you know, so close, say, like to... Um, maybe the best part, I would say, of human beings, you yes. know, because, you know, when you connect, like, to the land, uh, yeah. it's really, like, you know, the core. Um, how was actually, you know, for you to be there, like, you know, to, to, to listen to them, like, uh, jamming th those kind of sounds and, like, you know, experiencing that, like, like on, yeah. on the field? Say. Yeah, well, it's, it's you know... Uh, both Catherine and I, we, we, you know, those were always, you know, we wanted to make sure that this was about music yeah. as well. Yeah. So to to hear all everyone, you know, uh, perform and, and 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 then you just, you know, you sort of you get it. You realize uh, how they how that music is is comes alive and how. You know the the relationship with they have with the with the the, the environment and and what what's created with it. Uh, it's very exciting. It's and it's but it's also very. It seems very normal too. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it seems like it's universal. Everyone, you know, you get you get, you know, at, at the deep of it, at the you know the root of it all. It's the land gives you so much, and if you just listen. You know, you can recreate, you know, uh, beautiful sounds, mm -hmm. and and that's what that's what's you know um, that's what's exciting about all the places that we uh, that we visited. You know, every you know every everyone. I mean, I think it's like I was saying, it's very universal. If you're somewhere in the Middle East or in, in or in Asia or in, in Europe or in, in America or in Canada, anywhere it is, you know. The land gives you something, mm -hmm. and, and you give it back with instruments, with voices, and it's just it's just uh, a kind of a traditional uh, way to to uh, uh, you know get get this music across. And so I think it's you know it's uh, I think everybody can identify. With yeah. That. So yeah. it's not like it's something new. It's mm -hmm. something that's always been there. So it's it's just realizing. Uh, again, uh, that Native Americans and indigenous people, especially uh, all over, uh, have a voice, mm -hmm. and they gave us this 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 voice a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we're just giving it. We're just paying homage to what 
what they deserve, yeah. basically. You know? yeah. and, and, and also, like, you know, the, the fact of the respect for nature that, you know, they actually yes. uh, always taught us, because that, that's really, like, in their culture. And uh, uh, you were saying yesterday, uh, after the movie, that, you know, nowadays everyone talks about the environment, and, you yes. know, everyone yes. green here and green there. And, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, but... Uh, you know, it really comes from them. Absolutely, so, yeah, yeah, because they 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 always have respected, you know, the land that they that they that they've uh, uh, been a part of. You know, yeah. and I think I think it's true now. You know, everyone, which is great. Everyone is is going green. Everyone is aware of climate change. We're all trying to be a little more ecological and and, and controlling our fisheries and, and and just respecting you know the oceans sure. and in the sea. You know, this it has is, always this been is there. something that's always been there, yeah. they, and they've, they've told, you know, the Europeans all this, mm -hmm. but, you know... We kind of that, understood that later. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the world of industry is a different yeah. uh, animal, but, but it's never too late, and I think they've always been at the forefront of those ideas, mm -hmm. and I think it's just time that people listen and maybe learn from that. Sure. And and uh, and get the, and get more information about it too. You know, mm -hmm. like just you know. Anyway, I think it's uh, it's important that, that also that comes out a bit in the film, as you saw. Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely, you know, it does. It does a bit. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, really really um, impressed, like you know, with the the guests actually that you had, like yes. <laughs> in the movie. Yeah. Uh, and um, you know, you were saying that it took to you like five to seven years almost like actually you know to organize uh, you yes. know uh, th this big uh, project and uh, so um, and uh, how was actually like you know to uh, connect with the these uh, guests like uh, to to have them there and you know talk to them uh, about music we we definitely had you know uh, a, a major person that had you know, uh, that helped us right off the bat, which is Stevie Salas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who's a great guitarist, uh, Apache guitarist from San Diego. And, and he had a lot of, obviously, having played with so many musicians in his own life, uh, and still, still is, um, he, ha he knew a lot of the, some of the, um, the uh, musicians that, that are in the film. But then you still have to, like, you know, make the phone call, get to the managers, and, 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 and everybody did their part, you know, uh, uh, whether it was Catherine or, or whether it was some people from the office, uh, some of our researchers, uh, Lisa Roth, who's one of, is the line, our line producer who was always in contact with the managers to try to get to, sure. to these artists because I think they were all enthusiastic about being part of it. It's just a, it's a hard thing to, to organize sure. because... You know, musicians are always working, yeah. and if they're not playing, they're rehearsing. If they're not rehearsing, they're, you know, thinking of music. Sure. So, so it, it, it was difficult, but we were, you know, we uh, we did our best. And sometimes we'd have, we, you know, we'd have someone say, yes, you know, uh, uh, I'm interested, but uh, not right away. So, mm -hmm. you you know, you email it back and forth, like Marky Ramone or Iggy Pop that we always <clears throat> wanted to have in our film. So it, it, it took a lot of time, and sometimes you know we weren't able to have anyone. Mm -hmm. So then we were you know a little worried. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, what do we Challenging do? Challenging times. Challenging times now. <laughs> okay, let's let's think of what else we can, who else we can find. And but then at the end, you know, we we got as many people as we could, and um, and I think you know it all worked out. And what about Martin Scorsese? I said, what is Martin Scorsese doing? Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, well, yeah, well, Martin Scorsese, Martin Scorsese was, uh, you know, very interested in, in, the, in the subject matter. Of course, he and Robbie Robertson have worked together for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we thought, what better person uh, besides a musician, but a, 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 a film director who's yeah. used Robbie's knowledge of music and his, and his, and his talent, of course, to make music for his films, yeah. you know, and where does that come from? How? Yeah. Did, why did he? This, why did Scorsese decide that that Robbie Robertson, you know, Six Nations from from Toronto in, in Canada, be the person that gives him, you know, that music for his films? <laughs> so that was really interesting. 
course, he was very busy when we first, you know, contacted him. He was working on a, on his film Silence, which eventually came out. So the, I think the first time we got in contact with him or his people was three or four years ago. And then when he was ready, you know, we just got, you know, we he, he gave us the date and the time and <laughs> the location, and we two days later we were with him in New York. So fantastic. Yeah. And actually, I was thinking also that. Um, of course, like you know, he, he, he has been like a great fan of uh, you know the the rock music. He was there for Woodstock, like you know, yeah. he, he was like say in the picture uh, for you know the, what was going on. So like, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's kind of a well. First of all, he's besides being you know an amazing film director, he's very knowledgeable about mm -hmm. music and about history. Yeah. And uh, so we you know we thought that you know what better person to great choice yeah to have yeah, to, to speak about about. Mm -hmm and give another perspective of, of, of music, you know, mm -hmm. and I think, I think it, it, was, it was good. Yeah. I, I really loved, like, you know, all the guests that you had in the documentary. Yes. and oh, great. Because, um, you know, many of them, of course, are, uh, say, mm, you know, mm, people that, that we love for their music. So uh, it's great to uh, have the opportunity to, to listen to them, you know, yes. to, to their thoughts, because most times, like, we would listen to their music but you know not really knowing the, their yeah, thoughts yeah, so yeah. I, you know this movie was a great opportunity yes. and I think you know the audience is, is going to, to catch uh, you mm -hmm. know this in particular so. uh, the great news is that you know your movie is actually uh, going around for many uh, important film festivals yes. and Sundance you know you are also one over there yes, yes. and now you are here at the Biograph Film Festival yes. in Bologna which is exciting and, yes and yes. I also in the jury as well. Yeah, that was you? that was yeah. that was an honor. I was I've never been on a jury before. Yeah, and it was a really interesting experience. Yeah, and it was an all Italian journey, uh, the jury. Yeah, so uh, I really had to get my Italian back to to par, you know. There because, you go. Because uh, you know, Italian filmmakers are very intellectual, very smart, very talented. So I had to make sure that I was. Uh, you know, in that same league. There you go. <laughs> but I'm sure that with a good lasagna and espresso, see, it see, kind see. of yeah, yeah, yeah. brought I, everything back. I bad. brought everything back, yeah. 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 They made sure, actually. Yeah. They made sure that I ate well. There you go. That I drank well. Yeah. So that, so that I can be part of that same, uh, you know, have the same motivations sure. and the same intellectual, uh, uh, you know, uh, theories of, of, of film. So it was really, I, I really loved it. It was, uh, I'm happy that... Uh, Andrea from uh, Biograph Film asked me to come. I've never had it, that kind of experience, yeah. and it was really interesting. And what about Sundance, actually? How was to be there? Sundance was very exciting for all of us. You know, myself, Catherine, and all the producers, uh, we, were, we all were there, you know, really not expecting anything, but just the fact that we were honored to be there, because there was really some amazing films that were, that were shown at Sundance as well, just like here. And, um, but we ended up uh, surprisingly to us, but we're very happy about it that we won uh, a special jury prize for masterful storytelling. So that, you know, I think it was especially for that, for that, uh, for that uh, aspect of, 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 of the doc documentaries, we were um, we were very happy. Everybody was really, uh, you know, excited about about that and what, what, did it, what would it mean, you know. Mm -hmm. So right now the film is basically traveling kind of everywhere. It was in the, you know, we also won it in Boulder, Colorado, mm -hmm. uh, an award there, and, and recently uh, this past week in, uh, in New Mexico. Uh, as we speak, it's in, there's, there's um, I think in Australia right now, in okay. Sydney, Australia. Okay. It's also being screened screen there in Australia, and, and it continues, and... You know, we're, we're we're kind of it's nice, it's nice to see now what the reaction will be in Europe, for instance, or outside of North America, because it's uh, maybe a story that they don't know about. Mm -hmm. You know, outside of uh, outside the U.S. So hopefully, um, you know, we we're just we're just kind of following the film sure, wherever it takes sure, us. You know, it's yeah. great. So it's fun. That's a, a new part of the adventure. Yes, yes, yes another yeah. part. And it's, it's almost like a second trip now. You know, and we're all scattered. Everybody, you know, some, some of the producers go to one f film festival. 
you know. Yeah, uh, of course, because you cannot be no, and, ubiquitous you know, and be everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> so Catherine, the co-director, goes somewhere else. I go somewhere else. Sometimes if we're together, we're together, you know, so, sure. you know, it all depends. Of course. Yeah. So when actually do you think that the movie will be uh, in theaters? Because, you know, we want actually to tell our audience to go and watch it. Yes. Well, the, the uh, world... Uh, premiere in terms of theaters is in New York yeah. on July 26th, Film Forum. Write that down, guys. Yeah. Film Forum, July 26th, and, and then two days later in, in uh, Toronto, Canada, on uh, July 28th, and then I'm not sure um, the rest, mm -hmm. like I don't know, uh, obviously we're, we're from Montreal, and so we're excited about having it screened in Montreal, I'm not sure when that will happen. Yes. And then, you know, of course, Europe, Asia, and all. Step by know, step. Step by step. Depending yes. on the distribution. Exactly, yes, exactly. yes, of course. So, you know, but waiting to see. would you like to tell our audience um, about, you know, the, the website for your movie or, I don't know, social media? Like, uh, how can they be yeah, in contact? I think, and I think if, they, if they go on, on our, our Google, Facebook, uh, Google yeah. and then go on their Facebook page, yeah, yeah. you get a lot of uh, information on the sure, film. What's, sure, sure how it's been doing, mm -hmm. uh, the trailer is there, if it, if it, you know, if you want to see, pique your, peak your cross, curiosity and see uh, if that might interest you, and, and, and basically that's, that's where you, where you they find, can find more, more of the information, yes. Okay. Yeah. So Alfonso, thank you so much for being with us, <laughs> thank it was you so much. really, really an honor and a pleasure yes. to have you here. Thank you so much, yeah. you're great, thank you, ciao. 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 ciao.